Hello friends, in previous course we studied phrasal verbs that compose of verb plus particle or verb plus preposition. And here, well, I mean, they have a look at the three word phrasal verbs. Now, what do I mean by three word phrasal verbs? And if we look at the sentences, and we'll see what I mean. Last night, some friends dropped in. This is two verb phrasal verbs. But if we say, let's drop in on Alice. One, two, three. So together, this is called three word phrasal verbs. Let's drop in on Alice this afternoon. We dropped in on her last week. That means we visited her suddenly. Dropped in on somebody. Visited suddenly. And here is a list of, I mean, in three word phrasal verbs. So these are some of them. Dropped in on, visit without calling. Drop out of, stop attending, like Beth dropped out of graduate school. And fool around with somebody. My son likes to fool around with his friends on the weekends. Ayla ayla dolaşmak. <coughs> get along well. I get along well with my roommate. Get along with means have a good relationship with somebody. Get back. Return from a trip. Get through with finish. Like I got through with my work before noon. Or I finished my work. Got through with or finished. Same meaning. Grow up. Become an adult. Amit grew up in Sweden. Look out for something. That means be careful. Look out for that car. Arabaya dikkat et. Run out of, finish. We ran out of gas. Or we ran out of sugar. Sign up for, put one's own name on a list. Did you sign up for the school trip? Watch out for, be careful. Watch out for that car. Or look at for that car. It's the same meaning. Come along with. That means accompany. Did you, do you want to come along with us? Bize eşlik etmek ister misin anlamında? Come over to visit the speakers, please. Some friends are coming over tonight. That means they are visiting us. Cut out of, remove with scissors or knife. I cut an article out of today's paper. Find out about, discover information. When did you find out about the problem? Get together with, join or meet. Go back to, return to a place. Go over to, approach or visit another's home. Hang around with or hang out with, spend undirected idle time. Keep away from, not give to, uzak tutma. Set out for, begin a trip. Sit around with someone, sit and do nothing. Now the preposition combinations. And, you know, I mean, most of the time, I mean, in sentences, we use different kinds of prepositions. The prepositions like at, from, of, on, by, with. Something like that. Now here we have a small I mean, the introduction of the prepositions that I'm mean, we can use in different places. Let's go and have a look at those. Ali, if I say Ali is absent from class today, here absent is the adjective, from is the preposition. So here preposition is used with adjective. 
If I say this book belongs to me, here to is the preposition and belong is the verb, but here preposition only is used with with a verb. Now have a look at this exercise and then try to complete the sentences using the prepositions you know and see and how many prepositions you can know or you can predict. Right. Number one is done. Tom is devoted to his family. Pause the video and then check yourself. Kontrol edin kendinizi. Bunu bir yapmaya çalışın. Kaç tane prepositions biliyorsunuz? Buna bir bakın. Okay. Number two. I'm afraid I don't agree with you. Seninle uyuşmayacağım. I wasn't aware of the problem. Problemden haberim yoktu. I am excited about the concert. Heyecanlıyım. Konserle, konserle ilgili olarak. Are you satisfied with your progress? Yani ilerlemenden memnun musun? Satisfy with. She warned us about the coming storm. What is the matter with him? Onun nesi var derken? It doesn't matter to me. Bana göre fark etmez. I got rid of my old bicycle. Eski bisikletimden kurtuldum derken. I don't approve of smoking in public. Yani halk içinde ya da kamuda sigara içilmesine uygun görmüyorum. The solution is clear to me. Bana göre yani solution netice açık solution yani çözüm who is responsible for this bundan kim sorumlu derken the hotel provides guests with towels otel müşterilerine havlu tedarik eder protect your eyes from the sun he filled my cup with hot tea here is another exercise. Again, I'm just pause the video and then try to complete this exercise using prepositions and see how many of them are. Can you guess or know? Just check yourself. Two, Kathy was absent from class yesterday. Are you ready for the test? I'm angry with or at Greg. Both are possible in here. Are you afraid of dogs? Sometimes people aren't kind to animals. One inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. I'm thirsty for a big glass of water. Joe has good manners. He's always polite to everyone. I'm not familiar with that book. Who wrote it? Children ask why a lot. They are curious about everything. Meraklı olma. Anna got a good job that pays well. I'm very happy for her. Anna is very happy about getting a new job. Be careful. Be happy for somebody. Be happy about doing something. Jack's thermos bottle is full of coffee and we see some tense sentences with prepositions I admire you for your honesty hayran olmak yani dürüstlüğünden dolayı sana hayran oluyorum derken I admire you for your honesty he applied for a job başvurma I argued with my brother tartışma he argued about or over money Argue with somebody, argue about or over something. Para konusunda tartış, tartıştık, kardeşimle tartıştık. Dikkat edin, argue takes with somebody about something or over something. My parents believe in me. I borrowed a book from Tahsin. I discussed the problem with James. Please help me with my homework I introduce them to Hale 
I laughed at the kids. I'm leaving for Tokyo tomorrow. Don't stare at me. Now look at this exercise and then just pause the video and then complete sentences using appropriate prepositions. Number one, I borrowed the dictionary from Pedro. Could you please help me with this heavy suitcases? Soon, I would like to introduce you to at Jaws. You shouldn't stare at other people. It's not polite. Do you believe in ghosts? Are you laughing at my mistake? I admire my father for his honesty and intelligence. I argued Anna about or over politics. I discussed my educational plans with my parents. I applied for admission to the University of Ankara. We're leaving for Cairo next week. Mrs. Walton smiled at her grandchildren. Now, some sentences with prepositions. I am aware of the problem. Smoking is bad for your health. The solution is chosen. is clear to me. Bana göre. Alex is crazy about football. Yani football konusunda çılgın. Jane is very different from me. Venice is famous for its canals. She is friendly to or with everyone. Fresh food is good for you. I am hungry for some soup. I am interested in biology. I am nervous about my test scores. I am patient with children. Çocuklara karşı sabırlıyım derken. My parents are proud of me. Ailem benimle gurur duyar. Who is responsible for this mess up? I am sad about losing my job. Bir şey konusunda üzgün olma. A canoe is similar to a kayak. I am sure of or about the facts. Now, exercise. Again, complete the sentences using appropriate prepositions. But pause the video first, please. I don't understand that sentence. It isn't clear to me. Mark Twain is famous for his novels about life on the Mississippi River. I'm hungry for some chocolate ice cream. Our daughter graduated from the university. We are very proud of her. A lot of sugar isn't good for you. It is bad for your teeth. Who is responsible for the accident? My coat is similar to yours but different from Ben's. Some people aren't friendly to strangers. My daughter is crazy about horses. She is very interested in them. Sarah knows what she is talking about. She is sure about or she is sure of her facts. Are you aware of the number of children who die each day through the world? According to one report, 40,000 children die each day mostly due to malnutrition and lack of minimal medical care. That is horrible. I agree with you. I agree with you about that. With you about that. We arrived in Istanbul at 7. We arrived at the station at 6. Arrive takes in at for big places in small places at we all complain about the weather a book consists of printed pages i disagree with you i disagree with you about that she graduated from hajatebe university ted invited me to the dinner we listened to a nice lecture jack paid for my lunch I talked to Tim. We talked to Ali about his health. A salesman waited 
board customer. He waited for the train, said a complaint to me about my horse. Again, we have an exercise. In the same way, just I'm completing sentences using prepositions, but first pause the video. Here, yeah, just pay attention to the number eight. There shouldn't be a blank, there should be a blank in here. Now, complete the sentences using the prepositions, please. One, Tom paid for his airplane ticket in cash. Johan graduated from high school two years ago. I waited for the bus. Jim is a waiter, he waits on customers. Wait, wait on, serve at a restaurant. He's mad at Mac. I have a different opinion, I don't agree with you. I arrived in the city last month. I arrived at the airport around 8. I listened to the news on TV last night. This exercise consists of verbs that are followed by certain prepositions that is called that are called phrasal verbs. Jack invited me to his party. I complained to the landlord about the leaky faucet in the kitchen. Birine bir şeyi şikayet etme. Annie disagreed with her husband about the amount of her weekly allowance. Did you talk to Professor Adams about your grades? Again, go and complete the sentences. We have one more exercise using the appropriate prepositions. Now here, number six, just pay attention because we have two blanks in here and pause the video and complete the sentences, please. Then it's always nice to everyone. How long do you need to keep this Spanish book you borrow from me? I would like to keep it until I'm ready for the exam next week. Why weren't you more polite to Ellen's friend? Polite too. Because he kept staring at me all evening. He made me nervous. We're going to beat you in the soccer game on Saturday. No way. Asla. Two of your plays are equal to only one of ours. Oh yeah, we'll see. Stop pouring. My cup is already full of coffee. May I please borrow some money from you? I'm thirsty for an ice cream soda and we're walking night by the ice cream shop. Do you believe in astrology? I'm already, sorry, I'm really not familiar with it. Mike, I really admire you for your ability to remember names. Will you help me with the introductions? Sure, Ellen. Let me introduce you to Paul, Pat, Pat and the Debbie, Olga, Ramon and Kate. And another list of phrasal verbs. She asked me about my trip. She asked me for my advice careful ask me for my advice about my trip this book belongs to my brother i dreamed about or of a nice place do you know anything about the primates i'm looking at that bird i'm looking for my lost keys aramak bakmak anna looks like her mother i'm looking forward to midterm break your opinion doesn't matter to me. Something is the, is the matter with the cat. Your opinion doesn't matter to me. Something is the matter with the cat. I'm searching for a flashlight. She separated the boys from the girls. I warned them about or of danger. Again, we have an exercise, please pause the video and then try to complete the exercises with an appropriate preposition. Number one, what is the matter with you? Last form, we can go out for dinner or we can eat at home. It doesn't matter to me. To make this recipe, you have to separate the eight egg 
whites from the yolks. The egg, the egg whites from the yolks. Yolk is the yellow part of the egg. I don't know anything about astrology. I'm looking forward to my vacation next month. Dennis dreamed of or about his aunt last night. Right now I'm doing an exercise. I'm looking at my book. Jim can't find his book. He's looking for it. Bakma arama. Jim is searching for his book. I ask waitress for another cup of coffee. I ask Rebecca about her trip to Japan. Does this man belong to you? The city was warned about the hurricane in advance. I apologize to my mother. Annemden özür dilerim. I apologized for my behavior. Davranışından dolayı. Birine özür dilemek bir şeyden dolayı. I don't approve of this payment. Onaylamamak. Approve of onaylamak. I compared this book to or with that book. Bu kitabı bununla karşılaştırdım dersen. I depend on my family. Bağımlı olma. Bağlı olma daha doğrusu. He died or or from heart attack. The teacher excused me from class. Excuse somebody from something. Birini bir şeyden muaf tutma. I excused him for his mistake. I forgave, forgive, forgave him for his mistake. Bağışlama, affetme, özür dilerim, pardon. I got rid of my old shoes. What happened to your computer? I insist on the tea. Israr etme. I protected my eyes from the sun. I'm relying on you to help me. Sana güveniyorum dersin. Thank you for your cake. Mr. Lee took care of the problem. Üstesinden gelme. Again, go and try to complete the sentences using prepositions. But again, I'm please pause the video first, please. I apologize to Anne for stepping on her cake. I thank Sam for helping me fix my car. My grandfather doesn't approve of playing video games. Please forgive me for getting your birthday. My friend insisted on taking me to the airport. Please excuse me for being late. But up to here, I don't know whether you have noticed or no. If you want to use verb after phrasal verbs, they should be in gerund form all the time. And yani phrasal verblerden sonra and verb plus preposition olan fiillerden sonra bir fiil daha kullanacaksanız bunlar hep gerund dediğimiz ayancılı şekilde gelir. Dikkat edin. For helping, of it playing, for forgetting, on taking, for being. Eğer fiil kullanacaksınız zaten isim kullanıyorsanız sıkıntı yok. Children depend on their parents for love and support. In my composition, I compared the city with or to my hometown. Umbrellas protect people from rain. We're relying on Jason to help us move into our new apartment. We had mice in the house, so we set some traps to get rid of them. What happened to your finger? Did you cut it? My boss excused me from the meeting when I became ill. Mahtutma. What did old Mr. Hill die of or die from? Yani yaşlı Bay Hill neden öldü? We have another list of phrasal verbs. I am accustomed to hot weather. Alışkın olma. I added an A to my address book. I am concentrating on this exercise. Yoğunlaşma. I divided the cookie into two pieces. They escaped from the prison. I heard about the prison escapee. Escapee is a person who escapes 
from somewhere. Kaçak anlamında. I heard about it from my cousin. The escapees hit, hide, hit from the police. Polisten saklandı. Saklandı. We are hoping for good weather. Hope for something. İyi havay ümit ediyoruz. I multiplied 8 by 2. 8 2 ile çarptım. I spoke to my doctor. We spoke to Dr. Carter about my problem. I told the teacher about my problem. I subtracted 7 from 16. Çıkarma. I wonder about lots of curious things. Now, now we have an exercise again. I know maybe it might be kind of boring, but please just be patient and pause the video and then complete the sentences using an appropriate preposition. Number one, shh, I'm trying to concentrate on this math problem. How did the bank robbers escape from jail? Did you tell your parents about the dent in their new car? We are hoping for good weather tomorrow so we can go sailing. Did you hear about the earthquake in Turkey? I heard from my sister last week. Or hear about, hear from somebody. I spoke to doctor, writes me about problem. I'm not accustomed to cold weather. When you divide 27 into 9, the answer is 3. When you subtract 1 from 6, the answer is 5. When you multiply 8 by 8, the answer is 64. When you add 64 to 100, the answer is 164. George wondered about his team's chances of winning the tennis tournament. Sally hid her journal, hide, hit, saklama from her younger sister. And now, this is the final one, the last one. Bu sonuncusu. Again, pause the video and then try to complete the sentences, please. One, he insisted on knowing the truth, preposition, phrasal verb, and gerund. I was wondering about that. What is the matter with you today? He hid the money, hide, hid. From his wife. We separated the dogs from the chickens. I apologized to my boss for my mistake. We got rid of the cockroaches in our apartment. Who does this book belong to? The prisoners escaped from their guards. What happened to you? I'm sorry, please forgive me for my error. What did Mr. Grant die of or from? Parents protect their children from harm. Shh. Warning. I'm trying to concentrate on my work. I rely on my friends for their help. I don't approve of his style. The official warned us about the danger of traveling there. Fresh vegetables are good for you. We're looking forward to your visit. Does it matter to you what time I call this evening? Now, everyday English, Susan and mother are talking. Mom, James just called to ask if I would go with her to a movie tonight. That should be all right. What time do you get back? Well, I'm not sure about that. I may be back around midnight. What? You cannot stay out that late. You're too young. Oh, mom, come on. Jane and I will stick together. And be together, that means. We'll be all right. No, no way. And anyway, you know, your father will never wear it. That means your father will never accept it or permit it. Yani kabul etmeyecek, buna izin vermeyecek. Your father will never wear it. Okay, friends, and we've just finished 
intermediate course and next time if I have time because I'm kind of busy with this I'll to try to prepare the courses for upper intermediate so see you next time